Hey guys, Double Wide Six here, and I'm making you a video today on how to stop your Honda GCV 160 engine from leaking oil out the governor shaft, or any Honda engine that's leaking oil out the governor shaft. Pretty common on lawn mowers, also on pressure washers, and uh, other vertical engines. So here's the engine I'm going to be showing you this repair on. This was uh, this is actually a pressure washer, and those of you that have been watching my videos, I, I explained to you that I had this pressure washer. I got it, and the guy I got it from told me it was leaking oil, and uh, I pressure washed the thing off, and I couldn't find any leaks anywhere. I thought it was the main seal underneath the engine and then I pulled the pump off and looked at that it looked excellent and then days later I found a very slow leak right here at the governor shaft so this is pretty common for these engines and uh, the reason for it is there is no oil seal in there at the governor shaft if you have a Honda engine that's horizontal um, they include the oil seal on the engine so today I'm going to show you how to put an oil seal on there if you're having this problem the um, one of the first things that you want to look at is your oil level if the oil is overfilled it's going to leak out there on any of these vertical engines and just so you know you think you know how to check the oil but you probably don't you gotta look this up in the manual when you loosen up the oil dipstick, you clean it off. You do not screw it in to check it. You, you put it right here like this, and then you pull it up, and you look at your oil level. A lot of people screw it all the way down, and then keep adding until it's full, and you're going to overfill it, and that's going to be a problem. The people that run lawnmowers, a lot of times they get leaks when the engine goes up and down hills. Okay, so if you notice there's a little bit of leaks and it's not really like the type of leak that's going to cause your engine to seize up It's just a nuisance and you're going to get some oil drips in your garage or wherever you store your mower But uh, because of the hills it tilts the engine back and the oil leaks out here Okay, so what you can do is you can fill your oil halfway full on the dipstick and that should stop the problem if you're mowing hills um, but today I'm going to show you how to add an oil seal because this engine is already milled for an oil seal and it doesn't have the oil seal on it. Well, I'm up in the attic and I happen to have a GCV 160 up here. This is off a lawnmower and if we take a close look in here at the governor, you can see that there's uh, oil all over the place. So. Let me turn this for you. This is this is what you might see on your lawnmower. If you look in there, see all that oil coming out the governor. Very common. So we're gonna fix it right now. So if you want to replace the oil seal, you gotta get the right part. I happen to stock these things, and it's part number 91231-891-2. Um, if you want, you can send me an email if you want to buy one of these from me. I'll sell it to you for $3.50, free shipping. So what do we have to do to put in the seal? we got to loosen up. There's a 10 millimeter nut on the governor. This little spring, you want to look at and see which hole it's on. It should be in the first hole. Okay, but double check that. And you also want to look at your governor linkage and see... Uh, you know this is on like a pretty straight up and down 90 degree angle so I'm just gonna loosen this nut 10 millimeter okay folks I loosened up the nut so now what I can do is take my governor assembly that fuel lines like right in the way but this thing should slip right off of here with a little bit of tugging it'll the governor arm will slide off the governor lever just like that and there's a cotter pin here now we're gonna pull that pin so I'm just taking some needle nose pliers and you give the pin a yank like that. You're going to notice that um, you can see that the aluminum is already machined and ready to accept a seal. So now we're going to add the seal. 
So I'm just going to add a little bit of uh, high temperature grease on here. And what that's going to do is that's going to allow that seal to slide in there nice. So I'm going to apply that all the way around. So here's a look at our oil seal. And you want this side of the seal to go in towards the engine and the flat side of the seal to be facing out. So now what we want to do is take the seal and we're going to make sure that we have it facing the right way and we're just going to try and get it slipped on the shaft a little bit. You can see how I have it on the shaft a little bit. And I'm going to be using a 9 30 second deep socket like this and we're going to line it up with the outside of the seal like this and we're going to tap it in place using a hammer. So I used my fingers, I lined it up about where it needs to be and I'm going to take my socket and my hammer and I'm just going to lightly seat the seal. And you'll see it's a nice snug fit. So there we go. It's seated in there. I'm going to take my hand and pull the governor shaft completely out. And the seal is still staying in place. That's the way you want to do it. You want to be careful not to push the governor shaft all the way in and drop it in the engine. I don't know if it will go all the way in or not. But I don't want to find out. Now there's a cotter pin, so we're going to take our cotter pin and reattach that using needle nose pliers. And once that cotter pin's on, that'll prevent the shaft from sliding back into the engine. There is a little keyway, there we go, that the pin snaps into, so that's locked in place. Now what we need to do is carefully line up our governor shaft where it goes, slip it on there, that's all it does, and then we take our 10 millimeter ratchet and we're going to tighten this guy up. So putting my ratchet on there and we'll just snug that up. You want to make sure that this governor pin here is as far to the right as it goes it's pretty much straight up and down sorry about that and then as long as that's straight up and down you can actually hold it with needle nose pliers and then take your ratchet and snug it up the last thing that you want to do here is connect your spring to the first hole on the governor arm it's a little bit tight, so I'm just going to use some pliers to yank it back a little. There we go. I think it's easier to line the thing up if you do the spring later. So that's it with this repair. As you can see, it's pretty simple. It took me less than 10 minutes to do it. Um, I would recommend doing the uh, oil seal repair because that's really the right way to fix it because then if you're running a lawnmower that you have hills and generally leaks you can keep your oil filled all the way up because you don't want to be mowing hills without your oil topped off um, because as the oil tilts it won't oil your engine properly you want to really keep the the oil at its full capacity which uh, ballpark on this engine is about 18 ounces I think so anyhow I'm Double Wide 6. I got a bunch of uh, repair videos, and uh, in the bottom in the description, I will put a link to uh, the oil seal so you can get it from Amazon if you're interested. And uh, if, if Amazon doesn't have it, you can get it from me. So just send me an email if you're interested in it. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.